Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we are with the Oppo Find X6 Pro and the Galaxy S23 Ultra. And these are the front facing cameras. Now, Oppo front facing camera records at 1080p, while the Galaxy can go up to 4K60. So I'm at 4K60 right now, and I'm gonna switch and go down to match in the Oppo. It's pretty clear that the Galaxy has just better image quality, and that comes with a 12 megapixel sensor on the Galaxy S23 Ultra compared to the 32 megapixel sensor on the Oppo, and also just better stabilization overall when you're actually using the front facing camera. But what about the rear cameras and what do they have to offer? The Find X6 Pro is a beautiful device, but let's take a closer look at the cameras. There is a 50 megapixel wide one inch sensor camera, the main sensor, 50 megapixel ultra wide camera and there's also a 50 megapixel periscopic lens camera which is impressive so the main question here is how does this stack up against the 200 megapixel sensor main sensor for the galaxy the 10 megapixel periscopic sensor the 10 megapixel telephoto and the 12 megapixel ultra wide well Let's take a look closer at some of those camera samples, video and photos. Looking at those rear cameras, let's start at 4K60 to see how well stabilization is and also video quality. Video quality seems very similar for both devices. I do like that there's no clipping in the clouds, nice saturation, uh, but the Galaxy is steadier in terms of those control over. Now when we move to 4K30, again, you can see the stabilization of the Galaxy, but the image quality is fairly similar with some better color and highlights on uh, the Find X6 Pro. Now onto Super Steady and Ultra Steady Pro, the Galaxy just wins here at 0.6X, just better stabilization and better color balance. And then when we move to the uh, Super Steady and Ultra Steady, the Galaxy is more stabilized, but I like the image quality of the Oppo if it were stabilized, but it's pretty much all over the place. Now they do have some specialty modes like Dolby Vision on the Find X6 Pro, which gives you, of course, that Dolby color palettes that you can work through while the Galaxy shoots at 8k 30 and it's a very pristine image you can see how clear and crisp just the side of the car is and also just the imagery overall king things off with the front facing camera more detail better picture on the galaxy but also you can see things behind better even though you can support your photo the fence the tree also my skin um, color my jacket all feels normal in the galaxy and the oppo now this image here is all about looking at more detail and you can see there's just more detail on the Find X6 Pro. One inch sensor really comes into play. We go into 3X here and you can see just the 3X image is just a little bit cleaner. I think my lens might have been a bit dirty here, but as we move over to the next image, I want you to just look at the details in there that you will find. This is 10X, there's a bit more detail on the Find X uh, than on the Galaxy, even though the Galaxy is giving a much more cropped in image. And then we go into 20X, which is something the Galaxy doesn't really focus on. But again, there's more detail here because this is something Oppo has put, kind of put as the air marks in the uh, periscopic zoom. 30 here, 30 is sharper on the Oppo than on the Galaxy. You can see more detail just in the windows and the buildings. And when we move to the final one, which is 100 and 100 and 120, the Galaxy is better at 100X than the Oppo Find X6 Pro 120. So take it as you will. It's a bit sharper and cleaner image uh, on the Find X6 Pro on certain uh, images. This shot here, the Galaxy clearly wins. Oppo just can't really cut down the lights as much. This year, I do like the image of the Angel better on the Oppo, but the, the, the background, I do like what the Galaxy is doing better. Here, the Galaxy, I think, gives me just a better image. There's a little bit more texture on the Oppo. And with this, they're kind of the same image, uh, maybe a little bit slightly brighter on the Oppo. Now here's a portrait image of me where the Oppo adds in more contrast, looks much better, although my shirt color is better on the Galaxy. That's more to its tone. My skin color feels better on the Oppo. This is indoor portraits. As you can see again, the Oppo looks like the better image here. As we go to outdoor shots here, I do like what the Galaxy does, especially with my skin tone and the lighting and capturing it quite effectively, as well as also just dimming just that sunlight in my face. Same thing here with this image. I prefer the Galaxy images outdoors when portrait, taking portrait photos compared to the Oppo indoors. Hardware. Now this is a little break from our regular scheduled programming in camera comparisons. So look at the hardware and what Oppo has brought to the table with the Find X6 Pro. That's 
faux vegan leather is absolutely fantastic looks great on this device and it's all about how it compares against the galaxy s23 ultra in terms of gaming performance with its snapdragon 8 gen 2 processor against the snapdragon 8 gen 2 for galaxy so what does that bring to the table so looking at Geekbench scores, you can see very similar scores, Galaxy is slightly higher. That higher clock speed really showcases, but if you get the same performance from both. So looking at Call of Duty Mobile, we're getting 90 frames per second, really solid on the Oppo, which is great to see. That also matches what we have with our Galaxy S23 Ultra. 89 is pretty close around the same vicinity. And when we move over to PUBG Mobile, we're getting, of course, 60 frames per second at Smooth Extreme at 40. Uh, for Ultra HD Ultra, HD Ultra. And then uh, the Galaxy is also the same at 60 frames per second and 44 Ultra HD Ultra. And finally, of course, Genshin Impact, that long gameplay period. We're able to get some really great frame rates and the Galaxy stayed at a solid 60 frames per second as well. So performance wise, both of them are an even match. And when it comes to temperatures, we got a high of 109 degrees on the Oppo Find X6 Pro on the display, while the back was a little bit cooler compared to the Galaxy, which did around 107 degrees. Uh, so they're quite comparable in terms of temperatures and uh, are pretty much around the same. Now, when it comes to battery life, both of course have pretty solid battery life with the 5,000 milliamp batteries, but in terms of charging, Oppo clearly wins that category because it has a 100 watt SuperVolk charger that charges in under 30 minutes. Galaxy, do better. So when it comes to hardware and gaming, both devices have some very good features and also perform very well. But what about audio? Let's take a listen. <laughs> Very interesting sound profiles from both devices with of course Dolby, Dolby Atmos. Let me know what you think. But now guys, let's go back to our previously scheduled program of camera comparisons and looking at how both devices handle nighttime photography and video. Nighttime. Front facing camera, clearly the Galaxy looks better, is sharper, and also better representation with slightly better stabilization. Uh, so that 12 megapixel definitely works well. When it comes to front facing photos, this is the same here. Both are bright, but the Galaxy isn't as soft as the Find X6 Pro, as you can see clearly here. Now with the rear video, that one inch sensor really comes to play. You can see how it is much brighter on the Find X6 Pro than the S23 Ultra. S22 Ultra captures the lighting that is in the environment and enhances a bit. This really brightens it up more, uh, much cleaner. And I think I kind of like what uh, the Find X, X6 Pro is doing here. You can see more details on the bricks in the building, the lighting in the background even just down the street that way, it looks just brighter and sharper behind. And as we look at images here, the Matthews image uh, background is brighter than the Galaxy. Galaxy is a bit softer. Galaxy here is similar to the lighting, but there's more details on the bricks and the tree. Same thing with the wall here with this mural, you can see more details in the mural on the Find X6 Pro. Here, just looking at the lens flare, Galaxy is a bit more than the Oppo. And then with the bricks on the left-hand side, there's more details there, even though both are bright, but the Oppo Find X6 Pro is just brighter. Same here, more details on the bricks in the background than the Galaxy. And that's because of course that that one inch sensor. Here's an interesting picture where the main thing I wanted to capture was the signage and the Galaxy does the best job there, having the exact right colors while you can see the faded nature on the Find X6 Pro but the building at the back is much clearer on the Find X6 Pro than the Galaxy, as well as the brick wall and the tree right in front. 
here the signage the same barcade uh, is much better on the galaxy it's not faded and it's sharper and also you can see everything quite clearly now in here though the people look better on the finex express but also so the tetris logo uh, comes out really well why did it's it's washed out on the galaxy here there's a lot of contrast added to the image on the Find X6 Pro, but you can see the ceiling isn't as soft. People look much sharper. That one inch sensor really comes into play. Same thing here, looking at the text right underneath the Flying Fish logo. Find X6 Pro is sharper, but I do like the blacks, but the ceiling is really, really, really pointed out. The one thing I do want to point out in this image is just the signage of all the pinballs. You can see it's just a bit richer in color and sharper on the Find X6 Pro than Galaxy. Looking at how much light is coming in and captured in the scene, is quite impressive. This has been a fun battle between both devices and I think one that a lot of people would find quite interesting because Oppo has done some really good work with its one inch sensor and also the other lenses as well really showcase how well this uh, device has its cameras. But the Galaxy is no slouch and you can see how well it succeeds with video. When it comes to gaming, before I even get there, just a quick caveat, the Oppo device didn't come with Google Play Store, I had to sideload it. Again, that was the Chinese version for this review so it's not the international version. But that being said, both performed the same. You know, so how do you separate it? Maybe it's some of the other features like the SuperVoke charging or the S Pen. But my question to you guys is, which of these devices would you pick or who do you think won this battle overall? Let me know your thoughts, leave them down below and always enjoy your entertainment. <music>